Welcome to Brilliantly British. Today we are going to make baked beans from scratch. It takes a while but I insist and I'm promising you it's worth the effort and the time. Just look how beautiful they are. We in the UK value them so much that we put them on virtually everything. Enjoy. To make the baked beans you will need what is in front of me here. Salt, some brown sugar, a carrot, a stick of celery, a large onion, oregano, basil, smoked paprika, canned tomatoes which will be blended, white haricot beans and of course staying hydrated a nice cup of hot tea. The first step to follow when making baked beans is to take your raw haricot beans put them in a bowl just like this and soak them for at least 24 hours in cold water. This simply shortens the cooking time. Start by frying your vegetables on a very high heat. The less you stir, the more flavor you will develop. After caramelizing the vegetables, we're going to now add in the water and this will start the process of breaking the vegetables down, which is going to be the base of our sauce. Remaining on a high heat, stir in some smoked paprika and fry this for a further five minutes with the lid on. Take your time and absorb the smell of freshly fried paprika. And if necessary, add in some extra oil before pouring in your blended canned tomatoes. And on a medium heat, put the lid back on and allow this to simmer gently. We've reduced our tomato sauce to about half and now's the right time to add in our beans. Stir them in and then add in some water. Crucially, salt to taste first before sweetening to taste. Now add more water to double the volume of the sauce in the pot. With a lid on and on a medium heat, bring to the boil and then stew for two hours, stirring regularly or until beans are cooked. The beans are now cooked and the sauce has thickened wonderfully. Now's the time to add in our herbs, oregano followed by basil. At this point, switch off the heat and allow the herbs to infuse with the lid on. This recipe yielded two and a half liters of baked beans. I'll be storing them in old jars that I first washed before drying and sterilizing in a hot oven. Because of the time and effort that goes into making baked beans, uh, it only makes sense to make it in bulk. And so jars of baked beans, which I won't be using immediately, I'm going to preserve the baked beans by using this traditional jarring method. And I'd recommend you do the same. So let's try these delicious homemade baked beans. See, it's really nice to make it from scratch because what matters as well is the quality of the tomatoes. Really fruity, the herbs come through, the sweetness, the saltiness, the texture of the beans. Yeah, it's no wonder us, the British, love them. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brilliantly British in which I have shown you how to make much cherished British baked beans. Comment as well and let me know what other dishes you would like me to prepare and I will see you all next time. Thank you.